back with another banger. We're going to be talking about Ethereum. We're also be going over Bitcoin. So right after this one, we're going to go over Bitcoin. But let's go ahead and get straight into it, Ethereum. We're going to go over some key levels that I need to be watching, okay? Now, Ethereum is going to be a, be a big... Ah, I'm stuttering. Ethereum, <laughs> Ethereum is going to be a big buy for me. I am waiting on one specific thing that we need to go over. So I do have two resistance levels above here. These are still relevant at 1650 and 1725. Then I have a support here at 1500. So these are still the levels we are looking at. Notice how Ethereum has not really moved much from, I would say about August 19th. Because just look, August 19th, the price was about 1600. And right now we're about 1557. So only $50 movement in like the past week, almost two weeks. So really hasn't done much, right? So I don't want you guys to try to get trapped. Don't try to get trapped in down movements or don't try to get trapped in up movements either. That's why I had these resistance levels here, okay? So any up movement, try not to turn bullish too fast. Try not to go heavy on the upside. Try not to get trapped because say you try to go heavy here, you're thinking it's turning up and then you get trapped over here, okay? So these resistance levels need to break first for us to try to start buying and then trying to go to higher prices. These will be my signals on the upside for Ethereum. For the downside, 1500, this is a support level. If this breaks, that'll be bad for Ethereum. Ethereum is going to 1400, plain point simple. Now there is one more like support level says buying area uh, below this 15 level, but until that breaks, I'll just leave that here. Okay, so update for Ethereum. I'm watching it very closely. I do want to buy a lot of it. I'm just waiting to see where Ethereum wants to go because in the past week or two, it hasn't really done anything. Now, let's go to Bitcoin. Ticker symbol BTC USD. BTC USD right here. Well, I have another one down there too. Here. Okay, so we're looking out for two things. Now, the bad thing about Bitcoin, I don't know if you saw the video yesterday, is it's getting very weak and it's starting to break on that support a lot. Look how many times it hit the support level at 1908. 19,800 here, 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 here. So about four times. You know what that means? That means that this support right here is getting weaker and I'm pretty sure Bitcoin is about to pull back. So we really want to be watching Bitcoin because Bitcoin starts pulling back. I'm pretty sure some of the other cryptos are going to follow. Even though Ethereum has that merge in September, I forgot the exact date. I think it's around like September 14th or 19th or something. Uh, don't mark me on that. I think I might be wrong on the date. But the Ethereum merge is coming up, which is why I think Ethereum had that bigger up push. Bitcoin really hasn't had that push, okay? It's been falling ever since about 70,000 and hasn't really gained any traction. Now, it did move right here, but this wasn't bullish to me at all. This is just normal retracements higher. And look how fast it's coming down to considerable to where it's going up. So it wants to go down, okay? So I'm pretty sure that uh, support level at 19,800 is going to start breaking. Then the only thing... That's going to turn my eyes to the upside to actually start buying Bitcoin. I do want to buy, but I'm trying to wait until Bitcoin actually turns bullish or we get to some cheap, cheap prices. Like we get to like 15,000, 14,000 on Bitcoin. That's when I really start doing big buys. Or if we start breaking this resistance level at 20,595, then we need to start watching on Bitcoin but to potentially get these breaks. So it'll be two scenarios I'm looking for Bitcoin, either a strong break or a resistance turn to a support and then a break. So kind of watch out for that a little quick update on Ethereum and Bitcoin. Thank you guys for watching the video. Got more cryptos coming later today. Any other cryptos you guys want me to go over, make sure you leave in the comment section down below. And always remember, no recommendation of buyers. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one. Bye.